Hi guys, Coach Naomi with another video. Now, this one is about, this is what you need to do when a narcissist person um, leaves you alone or puts you on hold um, or ghosts you or whatever they do that they, they are not in communication with you. This is the time for you to literally um, plan your exit and plan to leave them because they will be coming back to try and persuade you and try and trick you. All they do is literally persuade, trick and the cycle continues. So what you should do, don't panic when they're not talking to you. Don't ever fear that the narcissist or narcissistic person will never be back, um, um, try and get in contact with you. They just want to punish you in the meantime. But don't focus on the fact that they are not talking to you. Focus on, um, okay, I am tired of this behavior. Focus on, I don't want to continue this type of relationship so that you're able to spend time with yourself and reflect on do I really want to be with this person do I really want to have this person as a friend as a lover whatever your relationship dynamic might be that's when you really need to reflect not try and reach out and blow their phone start calling them where are you messaging them you know I missed you why haven't you picked up my 16th missed calls like don't do that that's what they want you to do but in fact I'm gonna need you to do the opposite okay you need to have self-control Okay, you need to have that, <sighs> okay, what have I done to this person to um, deserve, um, you know, the f deserve the whole um, ghosting part, not, not talking phase and things like that. After you analyze that, you know, you're not wrong, um, you know, that you haven't done anything bad to the narcissistic individual that just ghosted you slash stopped talking to you. You need to plan your exit, plan how you don't want anything to do with this kind of behavior. It's because this behavior is going to reoccur again and again and again. So you have to literally cut them out. That's the best way you can do it. That way they're not on your mind, okay? Because I know how narcissistic people be on, on your mind all the time because they have this strong energy, um, hypnotizing energy, in fact. Just like the, uh, what do you call it, um, Cleopatra or something? No, I don't know. No, Medusa. Sorry. Yeah, Medusa. You know how the snakes or whatever it hypnotizes people, whoever looks at them and gets, you know, hypnotized. So they have that energy. Um, and you don't want to have that energy around you because every time they come around, they're going to persuade you. You don't even know how you got to, uh, to that level of having them back. That's why I like to say whenever you have free time, literally think of, okay, am I happy? Literally, generally, are you really happy? Is this what you deserve? And that's where you start planning and exiting.